my hope for you is wherever you come from and wherever you are, that you would leave this auditorium and that regardless of what you believe this story to be, that it would send you seeking life. Because that's what we all want. We all want real life. You, come here. Come here, you need to repent. Come here, get up here. Get in the river, get in the river. You repent? I think so. She takes him by the ear and she drags him <laughs> all the way over to the kitchen and she leaves. She says, this is my boy, you do whatever he says. And here we have in John, the very first miracle of Jesus is coming from a manipulative, passive aggressive mother. <laughs> so he says, if you've never sinned like this, cast the first stone. And starting with the oldest priests who've had plenty of time, they drop their stones one by one. You're not even 50 years old and you knew Abraham. No, that's not what I said. Listen, before Abraham was, I am. They knew exactly what that meant. I suppose the whole world would not have room for all the books that would be written if I told you every miracle that Jesus did. But these were written so that you might believe in him and that in believing in him, that you might have life. And the voice says, Mary. 